Yeah, all right, cinema fans. I saw Spider-Man 2 a few days ago, and I need to give you my two cents on it, because I spent $10 on the ticket, which is ridiculous. Seriously, movie theaters. I'm not a millionaire, and 10 bucks for two hours of entertainment is kind of a rip. Anywho, let's talk about everyone's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Let's start off with the cast, which might be my favorite and least favorite thing about this movie. I thought both Emma Stone and Jamie Foxx were great in this movie, playing their roles perfectly. I really never liked Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man, which might just be me as everyone else adores him, but I really don't think he fits the character. Fortunately, the best parts of the movie is when he's actually in the suit, and it kind of stops being Andrew Garfield playing Spider-Man, and is just Spider-Man playing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield's voice. It's an odd disconnect that helped me get through a movie with an actor that I honestly dislike. The plot of the movie is kind of bad. I mean, the main plot is fine, but there are too many side plots happening in conjunction with the main plot that makes everything seem a little rushed, when really they should be focusing on one or two main plot points instead of, like, four. If you ignore the other side stories that honestly take up way too much time, it's a pretty fun action story, and there's an okay amount of character development, especially between Gwen and Peter Parker. The action and special effects is what makes this movie amazing. Scenes of Spider-Man web-slinging through New York are kind of awesome, and the action is really well done. They make good of use of Spider-Man's superpowers and show them off to full effect. And the powers of the main baddie, Electro, are also really well done. Another really smart move is that the movie slows down time when a semi-complex action scene occurs, allowing the audience to really take in all of the information and see every action happening. Another thing this movie does quite well is its soundtrack, which is at its peak when Electro is first introduced. They play this weird techno beat with Electro's thoughts intermixed, it makes for a really great scene, and shows just how angry that character was. They also added an interesting take on Itsy Bitsy Spider that was a pleasant surprise. The soundtrack of the film really stood out and made it clear that this was a high quality production. Again, my major issue with this movie is that it does seem really rushed. A few characters are very quickly introduced and some plot points are barely explained. You just kind of have to second guess it. The worst part is that the story is being rushed thanks to a side plot that's really not all that interesting and probably should have just been left on the cutting room floor. The good really do outweigh the bad in this flick. I guess if you throw enough money at special effects and action scenes, the story flaws don't really matter. I give this movie a 4 out of 5, which is like my ninth 4 out of 5 review in a row. I should really start looking at some bad products. Until then, Kevin, signing out. Do you like video games? Do you like competitions? And do you like pie? Because you answered yes to all of these questions, which makes you perfect for our first annual Gamer Expo. Taking place in the Hawaii Convention Center on August 15th, Esports Hawaii will be hosting a number of competitions for popular games like League of Legends, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Super Smash Bros. Melee. We'll also be putting together a few panels with gaming industry veterans so you can get some knowledge with your fun. The price of admission is only $35, though you can get a whole 15% off if you act now and get in on our early bird special. Hope to see you there, gamers!